Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day and today we're going to be using the Pre de Provence, I think it's called. Pre de Provence. Yeah, I think that's how it's, it's from France. It's a triple milled soap. It's To me it smells like uh, bounce dryer sheets. I think it's lavender is what the uh, primary scent of this is. It's got a little tin can. I got this from over at the Shaving Disciple a year ago. I think he had his giveaway and he was one of the things that was part of it. And it's a really hard soap, triple milled. So, yeah, when you lather it up, definitely smells like uh, lavender. So, I don't use this very much, but what I end up doing is I just uh use my spatula thing here and shave off so it's really thin and i put it in the bottom of the bowl here kind of try to press it in a little bit and then i take my brush and with the water amount i usually use for everything and just put it on there and then let it sit for about 20 minutes of of uh kind of just getting this nice and soft and it lathers up really nice it's one thing I learned about how to use it. And then we're going to be using the Mercor 34C with Big Ben blades. And it's like uh, super stainless blades. There we go. So, first time use. Well, these, I've never used them. So, it's one of those blades I think I got from uh, Shave Every Bit. A better shave every day. That's it. Eric over there, he sent a bunch of stuff over with, uh, he had his giveaway and I won it, so it's like he sent those over. And also, it's like I keep forgetting if I got some of these from Sig, I got some from Eric, it's like the Sig Solo. And then we're going to use uh, Panag Clubman Vanilla so with this. Uh, nice scent. Almost went with uh, Avon Wild Country, but I haven't used a Panag Clubman in a while. So, I always like to make sure I use everything that's in my den. It's like occasionally, I'll, it's like I'll break this stuff out. It's like, I can't remember the last time I used it on camera though. It's been at least a year. Might have been a half a year, a year ago. I, I can't remember. It's been so long. I use it, but not very often. It's like I get... Sort of try to rotate my way through of all my stuff, so at least everything gets used. Nothing worse than having something that just sits on the shelf. And yeah, definitely smells like bounce dryer sheets. Has that laundry detergent scent. It's like Tide or Cheer or something with a lot of them use like lavender in their scent. I'm not a floral kind of guy at all. I'm just like not my thing. Alright, first use of these big bends. So far, so good. Feels good, actually. They seem to be cutting right. No pulling or tugging at all. Definitely feels like we can easily get these two, three shades out of one of these. So, how is your day going? Yeah, I need those. Finally, over the weekend, we went and seen the new um, Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore, I think is what it's called. It takes place, I think, in the 20s. 1920. My wife liked it. There we got hooked on all those, uh, like Harry Potter movies, or now this uh, Fantastic cr 
Creatures movies. Basically, it's like when your kids grow up reading the books and wanting to see all the movies, you just get kind of hooked on the things. My wife says this is the best of all of them. She really liked it. And the uh, few characters in this movie, the main ones were Kowalski and uh, uh, the Redmond's character, uh, uh, Skirmanger. Mr. Skirmanger? Uh, Nothing like that. There's <laughs> a few parts in the movie where. I'm not going to give any spoilers, really, but <laughs> the funny part was they went into the dungeon. And if you ever watched any of the Jurassic Parks, you know, you got those little uh, dinosaurs, you know, little bitty ones, but they, you know, they, they're they small, but if you get them into a pack, they'll eat you. It's like, there's this one scene where in the dungeon, and he looks down, and he's like, hmm, that's an interesting little critter kind of looks like a lobster and a scorpion combined <laughs> it's like and they're like he turns around there's like oh they're everywhere <laughs> next thing you know you, you see him acting like one of them and they're all following him in unison my wife was laughing or she just thought that was funny uh, soap is pretty good that's the slickness to it it's not, you know, uh, what do you call, uh, slick slick, but, you know, like you get from PA or Sterling or Crown and Crane, but, it, uh, still works pretty good. <laughs> he comes to find out, like, he's got this, uh, lantern which is made out of a bug, <laughs> like a uh, lightning bug. But as soon as it goes out, it's like there's all these prisoners with them around. And as soon as it goes out, this giant monster comes out of nowhere and eats you. And my wife, she's like, ah! <laughs> it's like, she's like, grabs a hold of me and I'm like, geez, woman, <laughs> it's just the movie. That was funny. He's like, it's freaking me out. <laughs> that was good, though. We liked it. Worth the see. Uh, probably next weekend, if we could swing it, go see the new uh, uh, Doctor Strange in the Universe of Madness or something like that. Multiverse of Madness, I think it's called. Kind of a continuation of the last uh, Spider-Man movies. So if you haven't seen the Spider-Man, latest Spider-Man, go see the latest Spider-Man movie. If it's on. And we watched it in the theater back in December and then it came out in rental so we watched it through the red box only uh, red box seems to be a localized thing but it's kind of cool it's like you go up to this box and it's red you punch in, it's like you can go online and there's an app for it, or you can rent stuff. Fill out the app, you know, it's like, all right, I'm going to watch this movie. What's in my local area? Because they got them scattered throughout the city. And you uh, go up and, you know, you, you do online, buy the rental online. It's like typically once a week we get this code for $1.25 off. Usually it's a $2 movie. You can rent the, the disc. 
and take it home with you and watch it home and put it back in the machine push the button and it goes right inside and eats it and it's done you know it's taken care of but you can do all order it online usually we get a dollar 25 code so it's like you're watching for 75 cents 80 cents roughly you watch a movie and then return it the next day to the box really handy Nearest box is about a mile and a half, two miles away, something like that. Not a big deal. My wife picks them up on her way from home, directly on her way from work. So, good deal. So. Yeah, if you haven't seen the new Spider-Man movie, the latest one that came out in December, watch it before you go see the newest uh, Doctor Strange movie because they tie it together by with continuation type thing. The problems you find in the first movie will also be taken care of in the second movie. And then... Uh, in a Spider-Man movie, it's like you had uh, Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil. He was in that. And as soon as he came on screen back in December when we were in a theater, that place just erupted in cheers. I'm like, yeah, it's Daredevil. He's back. Isn't that crazy? Like, people were clapping and cheering. They're like, wow. It's like, yeah. Say, one thing about the soap, it kind of dries out. It's kind of like, um, for quality, it's similar to Arco. And that was another one. Uh, Parasso it for quality of shave. It works. It'll get your job done. Say the blade isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. It's peeled off the hair. You can still hear it trying to do the job. Typically with like some of the sharper blades out there. By now I'm done with that area. But I'm still just picking up residuals. seems to work the feeling of be a probably a three three shave blade we'll give her a shot go through its paces it's, it's like I did the uh, last week finished off with the stranglet and there are three and done First two shades are good, about equivalent to what I'm getting now. And then the uh, third one that started getting tuggy. It's like, you could easily probably got a fourth shade with it. But you have so many blades, and you're only spending four or five cents a blade, sometimes seven, and you get three, four shades out of one. That's not bad. Yeah, you look at it, the Astros, you can get, cost me about seven cents a blade. 
have like <laughs> 500. Well, that's for less than 500. I'll do it. Seven cents a blade. Get four shaves out of one. That's less than two cents a shave. That's good. It that works. Then you look at these. Yeah, same thing could be said, you know, like with a razor. Let's say you spend a hundred dollars on a razor. First time you use it, it costs you a hundred bucks. Back when time it was like fifty bucks. You know, so it's like the price of every time you use it goes down. So if you're using it seven days a week, three hundred and sixty five days a year, you know, it's like it's not costing you that much after a couple of years, it's like pennies on a dollar, you know. Uh, same thing could be said for like say you buy a thousand dollar suit every time you wear it your uh your creation and cost money you spend on it dollars per wear dollars per shave cents per shave when it comes to the blade I'm really getting my money's worth with these big bins because I never paid anything for them. Other than time I give to the individuals that watching their videos. Now I always watch it. When I watch somebody shave video, I watch it all the way through. Give them the full amount of time. Because they may say something at the end that, you know, can only really tell sometimes. When an individual will just, all they're doing is commenting on the, the headline, you know, the title of the video, and then they, like, video only played long enough to, for them to type everything in, and they're on to the next video. It's like, eh. thank you for watching. Well, Speaking of viewers, uh, we've reached the 200, mi 200 uh, mark, so well, maybe by the time this, it's like I'm waiting to see if we stay above 200 for a while, because I've reached 200 several times now, and it would drop down, so oh, right there, a little bit. There we go. Alright. Alright, big bins. Bill gave me a good shave. I feel kind of rough, but for the first shave, it seems to be working good. So we'll just see how this coming week goes. Hmm. Canard Clubman Vanilla. There we go. Slowly whittling that down. Definitely smells of vanilla. Not really a strong vanilla like you find in a Haverford or something like that, but there's enough there. It's just a little, it's like your typical Panade Clubman with a little bit of vanilla to accentuate everything. Alright, so. The soap of the day was brought to you by uh, Pre de Vance. Pre Vance. It's a hard pug. Let's show this in here. There you go. My little 
little shavings are popping out. Okay. Really hard. I like shaving with a rock. <laughs> so, there. Triple milled. And then we had the Mercor 34C with her. There we go. Big Ben's. Big Ben blades. Super stainless blades. So we're going to give this a roll and see how many shave, good shave they can get out of one of those. And obviously follow up with some Panada Club in. Alright, so that's the shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.